my Virgo mind because he's a Leo and his What's your sign? Pisces. He always say, I know how Sagittarius is. Like, I mean, Pisces are known to be very deep, very emotional. But it's like, you gotta step out that shit. We Leo's. Think, baby, I'm Aquarius. I started this game to shit. It's Aquarius and a Scorpio. So I say, is it, is it a Sagittarius? Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your Black Astrology reading. My videos are done according to the current planetary energy. What is planetary energy? It is the position of the planets at a given time. I focus on the energy of the Sun, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. What is the Sun, Mercury, Venus, and Mars? The Sun is the largest star in the universe. Mercury is the planet of all communications, including talk, text, email, and thinking. Venus is the planet of pleasure and romance, and Mars is the planet of motivation, anger, and sex. The astrological weather will always be in the description box. So let's get right to it. With the sun in Scorpio, your relationships are very important right now. The relationships you cater to during this time will be very helpful later on. And the ones you ignore will come back to bite you. And that's facts. You could also be signing a contract or forming some type of partnership during this time. With Saturn in your 11th house of hopes and dreams, there could be something you are wishing for, but you just can't seem to get it or finalize it. This is because you are not serious about it yet. Saturn will make sure you get serious or you just won't get whatever it is. In love with Venus and Virgo, your love life should definitely be on and popping. With this transit, there was a higher chance of getting pregnant or getting someone pregnant. Venus moves on to Libra tomorrow, so someone could be flirting at work or you have had your eye on someone at work. Be careful with this because I definitely don't advise it. Your boss could even be trying to holler at you. Again, I will steer clear. Within this next week, you could be finding out that someone has made you an option. And this is normally happens when Venus leaves the fifth house because you were too busy having fun and not paying attention to something important. When you have the planet of desire in your fifth house, you can be excessive with fun and partying and sex. But when it moves on, you will see. This person could also be torn between you and someone else. Taurus is big on trust, so I am sure you have seen any red flags, but chose to ignore them because the sex was so good. The sex alone had you thinking long and hard about being in a relationship with this person. Don't get me wrong. They may want what you want, but you will need to take control here and either make them choose or make the decision for them. And with Venus moving on to Libra, they would like that. This has been your reading bulls. And that goes for Taurus moons, Venus, and Mars, and Jupiter. For a personal in-depth reading, please visit our website at blackastrologyatl.com or DM us on IG at Black Astrology. Deuce. My Virgo mind, because he's a Leo and his son. What's your sign? Pisces. He always say, I know how Sagittarius is. Like, I mean, Pisces are known to be very deep, 